so that I could actually test uh, arm movement and the capabilities, you know, how much it could lift and that sort of stuff, uh, I made this manual control panel. Uh, it's basically a folded up piece of sheet metal over some scrap wood. And um, I terminated quick connectors on the end so I could quickly hook up uh, to the arms as well as to the main 24 volt bus of the Scout Bot. So basically here's the power connector and uh, or the arm connectors. I'll get these out of the way. Um, each one of the degrees of freedom is controlled for one arm, the ro what I call shoulder rotation, uh, which I, I should demonstrate uh, with the uh, faceplate off on the robot. Uh, shoulder lift, which is the biggest cable drum mechanism. The elbow joint, which is the second uh, cable drum mechanism. Wrist rotation, followed by gripper open and close. Currently the arm is fully articulated with the exception of the gripper open close. I don't yet have a linear actuator design that will fit uh, into the forearm yet, but I'm working on that and should have that pretty soon. So uh, let's hook this baby up and let's make the robot move its arm. I will now demonstrate arm movement. Okay, let's take the uh, one of the shoulder plate covers off so you can get a look inside. And now what we'll do is we'll run the uh, shoulder rotation so you can see that. 